scope. The NX scope. Now, the NX means net exports. That is the difference between exports minus imports, and that is the trade balance of a country. Now, this NX or net exports can be positive. That will be when exports is more than imports. Or it can be zero. Then we will have exports equal to imports. That will be a trade balance. Or you can be negative. NX can be negative when exports is smaller than imports. And that will be a trade deficit. Now, the NX curve represents the relationship between the level of output and net exports. And what it says is, if you increase the level of output, then it will spill over into an increase in imports. Now, the reason imports increases is households have more income, so they buy more imported goods. But in order to increase production in the economy, we need more intermediate and capital goods, that's machines that we import. And given that your exports stay the same, this increase in imports will then lead to a decrease in your net exports. And this is the relationship that we're going to plot on the diagram now. And what we do is we put the, this axis, our vertical axis, we put the net exports. This is where we're going to put zero. And this is where we're going to put our income. Now, a point such as this point here means that we have exports more than imports, so we have a trade surplus. So at this income level, we have a trade surplus. An income level such as this one is where your trade balance is zero. In other words, exports equals imports. And we can have a point like this. As income increases, your imports increase, and you will have a trade deficit. And so if we combine these points, we get the NX curve. Now, as you can see, at an income level up to this income level Y2, we will have that net exports is more is greater than zero, that is a surplus. And at this point here, we know net exports equals zero. So that's your trade balance, exports equals imports. As the economy increases the level of output, you run into a trade deficit where NX is smaller than zero. So that is your trade deficit. So at income levels lower than income level Y2, you have surpluses, income levels higher, you have deficits. What we're going to do now is to use this information here to plot a NX curve. You must then take this data and you must draw a NX curve. Now what you can see here is the level of income increases from 200 to 300 to 400 and exports stays the same 100, 100, 100, but as income increases Imports goes 50, 100, 150. What you can do now is to calculate what is the trade balance. And that will be 100 minus 50 is equal to minus 50. Sorry, that's 50. 100 minus 100 is 0. 100 minus 150 equals minus 50. So you have a surplus. Here is your trade balance. And here is your trade deficit. So now we're going to plot this on a diagram here. This is our NX. This is zero. And this is our level of income. Now we can start off with an income level of 200. And we can say, okay, at 200 I have a surplus of 50. At 300 I have trade balance and at 400, I have a deficit of 50. Then that's the minus 50. And then if you combine these points, you get your NX curve shows that 
At 200, it's 50. At 300, it's 0. It balances. And at 400, it is minus 50.